right. Hi guys, morning. Welcome to Zoo School. I'm Keeper Kelsey. This is Keeper Caroline. So today we have Zach the Hartman's Mountain Zebra with us. We're going to try and go over a bunch of different zebra facts with you. And we'll ask questions or answer questions at the end for you. So feel free to put those in the comments. Um, so to start with, he is a Hartman's Mountain Zebra. That's a subspecies of mountain zebra. There's two different subspecies. The other one is a Cape Mountain Zebra. There's a total of three species of zebra in Africa. So there's plain zebras, grevy zebras, and mountain zebras. The plain zebra has seven subspecies, but only six extant. So that means there's only six that are still around. One species actually went extinct, and that was the quagga. Um, these guys do all live in Africa together. So plain zebras live in South and Eastern Africa, and they kind of spread all over. They're the most widespread species of zebra. And then there's grevy zebras, and they live in Ethiopia and Northern Kenya. And then Harp mountain zebras live in Southwest Africa. Hartman mountain zebras, which is what Zach is, live in Southwest Angola and Namibia. So also, fun fact about flies, so that they don't get bit. So a lot of flies don't actually like the striped colors. They can't see it very well, and it makes it hard for them to land onto the zebra and then bite them. Um, there's some flies also that just aren't attracted at all to this color pattern, so they just avoid biting them. It's kind of neat too because a lot of wild equids do have stripes in some parts of their bodies. Zebras are fully striped. There's wild asses that live in Somalia and they have stripes on their legs. And then there's Kozlowski's wild horses that don't have any stripes at all. And it actually kind of coincides with how many different species of biting flies live around them as well, which is pretty neat. So zebras have a lot of flies to contend with, so they're fully striped. So these guys are threatened right now, or vulnerable, sorry. Mountain zebras are vulnerable species. Grevies are endangered and plain zebras are at least concerned. So that means these guys aren't quite in danger yet, but they could be. There's about 30,000 individuals in the wild right now. We have some in captivity. So in the future, if they're not taken care of, it could become an issue. They are affected by human activity. So these guys have their homes taken away by agriculture, farming. Sometimes farmers don't want zebras around because they might eat all the grass that they need for their cattle. They're also hunted for their meat and their fur still. And they are a little bit affected by climate change. Out in Africa, that's a little bit different than what we see here. It actually ends up causing more droughts. So then these guys don't find enough water. They do drink about one to two times a day, normally in the wild. So they do need a pretty steady source of water. So these guys also do live in little groups. You'll notice Zach is alone out here today. We had to keep everyone else inside because Hannah, our other zebra, and our giraffe decide that all of the food that comes to this fence is for them and they'll push Zach away and then eat all of it. Um, and Zach is our most polite zebra, so he'll stay up front with us. So he's the one who got to be outside with us today. But in the wild, they do form little harems. So generally there's one male and they'll live with about six-ish females, sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less. And then with these guys and plain zebras, the females actually form groups that they live in for their entire lives. They don't typically leave. The other zebra species we mentioned, grevies, they actually have kind of a weird social structure. They don't really form herds and stay together. There's still little harem, especially during breeding season, but the females don't really hang out with each other. Sometimes they'll just have like one or two friends that they like to live with. And they don't really have a herd. Um, so these guys also, there is a couple differences between the, the species. So mountain zebras are actually our mid-sized zebra. <laughs> Zach's like, oh, do you have food? Um, so these guys can weigh anywhere from about 620 pounds to 750 pounds. Zach is somewhere around the 700 range. Um, Grevy zebras are actually the biggest. They can weigh up to 850 pounds. So they're a little bit bigger than Zach. Um, and then plain zebras are the smallest. They weigh anywhere from 550 pounds to about 720 pounds. Most species of zebra are also about four and a half to five feet at the shoulder. So that's not measuring to the top of his head, just to the back there where his withers are. So that's generally where you measure the height of an equid. Um, and then they are also, plains and mountain zebras are about seven feet long. And then grevies are about eight to nine feet long. So they're just a lot bigger. Mountain zebras do have one very distinctive feature. If Zach ends up picking his head for a 
up in a minute, you can actually see he has a dewlap under his neck. It's like a little waddle. It's extra skin down there. So only mountain zebras have that. The other species of zebra did not. Um, and then all species of zebra actually have different stripes too. So these guys have kind of what you might expect to be a generic striping. <laughs> it's not too wide, it's not too thin, and it's all over their bodies. Um, plain zebras all have different types of stripes too. Some have a brown shadowy looking stripe in between the black stripes. And then grevies have one of the more striking patterns. They actually have almost like pin striping. So they have really, really fine stripes all over their body. And all of their stripes on every single zebra is a little bit different. So a lot like a thumbprint, you can actually tell these guys apart by their stripes. It does take a little bit of practice. Zach does have a little beauty mark on each side of his face. He has a little spot behind his eyes, which actually helps us to tell him apart from Hannah. He also does have a taller mane than she does. You can see his little beauty mark there behind his eye. <laughs> yeah, he is beautiful. Um, so these guys also, in the wild, their average lifespan is about 20 years, sometimes a little bit less. They do get eaten by predators out in the wild. Um, but in captivity, they can live a little bit longer. The oldest mountain zebra that we have on record was about 29 years old. And Zach here is only nine. He'll be 10 in February. Um, so he's still pretty young. He's just a middle-aged zebra. His birthday is actually February 11th, 2011, when he was born. Um, Hannah's birthday is in August. So she's actually a little bit younger than him too. She's only about six years old and she'll be seven in August. Um, the, some of the reasons they do live a little bit longer in captivity here, they're not being eaten by lions, which certainly helps. Um, they also receive vet care. They get diets with extra vitamins and minerals that they need. Um, and we can fix anything that happens that's wrong. So they actually get hoof care here too. So we'll trim their hooves usually once a year. Um, and fun fact about mountain zebras in particular, they actually have pointed hooves compared to other zebras. And they have very hard hooves. So they don't actually climb mountains like their name might suggest, but they do live in mountainous areas. They tend to live in the foothills where it is a lot rockier. So they actually have long legs with their hard hooves so they can climb around on the rocks if they need to. So in these guys also, zebras, a lot of people think that zebra can't really see at night very well, but they actually have very, very good night vision. It's almost as good as an owl's. So they can see a lot better than we can at night. And they also have a very wide range of vision. So their eyes are on the sides of their heads and they have those long pupils. So these guys can actually see their butts if they want to. They don't have to turn their head. They can be looking forward and still see their butt, which is pretty cool. I'm glad though that I can't see my own butt all the time. <laughs> but it helps Zach avoid any predators. So it's really hard to sneak up behind a zebra. So not only do they have really good vision, they also have very good hearing. You can see his big old ears. He can move them any direction he needs to in order to listen, and they have very good senses of smell to help him find other zebras or predators. And we will ask some questions or answer some questions now for you guys, since we've only got about 10 minutes left. So Callie would love to know if they're black and white, black with white stripes or white with black stripes. So they are most likely black with white stripes from our current research that we can find. Um, and you can see that because their embryos are actually black and then develop white stripes at the last stage. What is their favorite food from Alex? Great question. Well, as you can see, Zach is eating carrots and romaine lettuce right now. These are some of his favorite things. Although honestly, Zach will eat pretty much anything you give him. <laughs> he does not like peppermints though. A lot of equids really like to eat peppermints as a treat. Zach is not a fan. He got very angry when we tried to feed him a peppermint. Um, they also get grain too, which they do really, really enjoy. Adriana would like to know how tall they are. So if you can see me right now, we're almost even with the ground. He's actually probably about a little over four feet tall at the shoulder. I'm only about five seven. They can be up to five feet tall at the shoulder. Um, and their weight. So Zach is probably around 700 pounds. They can get a little bit bigger than that. They can be almost 750 pounds for some of the big boys. Owen and Tyler would like to know if he's got family here. So Zach actually has a girlfriend here. Her name is Hannah. He doesn't have family other than her though. It's just the two of them here right now. Adric would like to know if they swim. So these guys can swim. I'm not sure if they actually like swimming, but in the wild they do have to cross rivers. So they are able to swim. 
Although it's kind of scary because there are crocodiles in the water that sometimes eat zebras as they cross the water. Ada and Augie would like to know about play fighting with Hannah. So yes, they do actually play fight quite often. Um, it's not typically aggressive. These guys like to have fun. They're known to be a very playful species of zebra. So usually Hannah will go over there and bother Zach until he plays with her and they'll run around or they'll rear up and bite each other on the neck. They actually have really thick muscles at the top of their neck that does, doesn't hurt them to get bit there. They just hold on to each other. Um, just like if you had hands holding on to someone else's shoulder. Is he soft? So he is a little soft on certain parts of his body. His hair is more coarse and bristly than soft, but he does have a very, very soft velvety nose. He's got those really, really fine hairs on there. Perfect nose. Callista would like to know if they buck or rear like horses. They definitely do. So these guys, if they're being hunted in the wild and they're being attacked by lions, they will actually rear up and they'll buck. If they have to, they'll kick and attack the lions too, and they do bite. So they are a lot like horses in their defenses. Cameron would like to know what his enrichment is. So we actually brought one of his toys over here. This is a jolly ball. It's a rubbery ball. It's kind of soft. They can kick it. They can pick it up. So this is a horse toy. Horses will play with these. Um, these guys don't really like to toss around or kick toys that we've seen yet. They really like to kick them around to get food out of them. So we actually have a couple different grain feeders we'll use for these guys. Um, we'll put grain in them, which we did bring so you can see his diet as well. So this is his dinner tonight. He's getting about two pounds of grain and he gets up to half a bale of Timothy hay. That's about six flakes. And we'll put his grain in toys or around toys for him to have to eat and move around. And this is going to be our last question, guys. Victoria would like to know Zach is very smart. I like to think he is. Um, he knows his name, he knows us, and we actually do train him here for vet care. So what Caroline was doing earlier was a lot of training stuff with him. Um, he knows how to like open his mouth for us. He can take shots for us through the fence without getting scared. He lets us brush him if he needs it. So yeah, I would say he's pretty smart. So he also, he's very smart. His door to go inside at night is right there. And if we don't let him in by the time he thinks it's time to go in, he comes up and he just kicks the door over and over and knocks it. So he just knock, 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 it's me, I'm ready. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked learning about zebras with us. If you'd like to learn more about zebra training, there will be another training video that we're gonna record. It'll be aired, I believe, on Saturday the 23rd. So if you wanna see us train our zebras, tune in then. Thank you guys.